Hello, everyone. So, karon guys, um, <clears throat> may tabo na gid ako ang ginapang ingon. <laughs> Ito guys, kas nasta kasi ko sa Jan 8. And for me, um, as for me, uh, nadawat na ko siya. I should not be like in a hurry. Or dili na ko da- dali-dali on dapat ang mga... pagbasa, pag Bible sharing, you know, dili dapat ginadalik-dalik si God. So, let's just allow God to make us a vessel of him. No, pero um Yeah, so this is going to be the second time na I will um This is going to be the second time. Hello, Ate Margie! Happy Holy Thursday! Yes, Happy Holy Thursday! Ah, matutulog ka na. Sige po, Ate Margie. Salamat po, Ate Margie. I-BG mo lang yan dyan, Ate Margie. <laughs> Bukas wala si Jesus. So, nga, uh, ngayon ang yung Monday Thursday or Monday Thursday, uh, we are commemorating the Yun gong pagwash ni Jesus ng feet ng kanya mga disciples. So, ayun. Um, and, wait lang. Saba. <laughs> Saba. Black Saturday, wala ka pasok. Um, meron pa ding pasok ati Margie. Meron pa ding pasok. Kasi yung aming office is sa US, di ba? Call center po ako. Ayan, tusok. Thank you so much sa tusok at ati Margie. Mag Bible sharing ako ngayon ati Margie. Dami ko nang na-miss. Pero, di ko siya minamadali. Wala na akong ginadali. Ah, okay. Oo. <clears throat> so, yung Monday, Thursday. Monday, Thursday, yun yung Uh, commemoration of Jesus washing uh, the feet of his disciples as they gather and that signifies forgiveness so Jesus forgives his disciples uh, and the message is he wants them to also forgive like parang forgiveness to everyone ba baka di ka pa magkapag asawan yan <laughs> bakit naman <laughs> Bakit naman ati Marge? Uy, wait lang, may kaspa ako. Bakit naman ati Marge? Para sa akin ba ang message na yan? <laughs> ah, okay, dahil puro trabaho. Okay lang yun. Kung para sa akin na pag-aasawa, kung ibibigay ni God, thank you God. Kung hindi naman, Um, I will be single to glorify him and it will be easier. Diba? Kasi kapag if you have someone or kung makapag-asawa ka and an example, um, hindi kayo magka-vibes, mas more on baka gusto, gusto niya ganito, ganyan, tapos ikaw gusto mong um, magbasa ng Bible, mag-share ng Bible, ng word ni God, tapos hindi, hindi kayo mag you will not meet in between. Parang mahirap yun. So, pinipray ko naman yun kay God na if ever, no, if ever, if ever, pala rin, magkaroon ng partner. So, thank God, pero gula. Um, as for me, it will be easier na parang wala akong ibang isipin. Kasi mahahati yung time ko. So, time... Time ko sa ano, time ko kay God, ganun. So, kahit saan dalhin ng agos ng buhay, okay lang. <laughs> yeah, yun naman ang pinaka-importante. Parang interest natin yung self natin kay God. Kasi everything we have and everything we are, um, we should glorify God. Diba? 
Pero etong Jan 8, um, eh guys, nakabili na pala ako ng bagong notebook. Same siya nung isa kong journal na ganito yung kanyang ano. Ay, may nasulat na ako dito. Ganito yung kanyang parang hibla ng pages. And I really like it. Parang color, something beige na ano. Ganitong ganito yung color ng aking notepad sa phone. Pero sa phone, meron lang siyang parang margin dito na color red. And then, this is cool kasi para siyang executive journal. Pero, hindi naman ito kamahalan, guys. Hello po. Hindi <laughs> naman siya kamahalan. Tapos, naka-leather pa, o. Oh. Ayan. Medyo parang slidey ang kanyang pagiging leather. Unlike ng pagiging leather ng Bible na binigay ni, ano, ni Supercut. Para siyang sturdy na leather type ba. Ayan. Ito naman, hindi siya floss. Para lang siyang dry. Ayan. Kita nyo ba? Hindi siya shiny. Pero ano yan? Leather. I really like it. Hindi ako nagkaroon ng ganitong notebook mag nag-aaral pa ako. Yung nag, nung nag-aaral pa ako, mga ano lang yun, mga notebook namin before tag 24 pesos. Tapos ganito ka, kakapal. Tapos, you know, mahirapan kami, mahirapan ako pag, pag more on history or hikasi kasi, di ba, mag, mga history nga, magsulat kayo ng mga names, mga year and the significant events of that, ano, para mag-learn kayo ng history. Ah, grabe. Tapos reporting pa nun. Tapos kapag isulat na, ah, siguro ma mabilang ko mga three notebook yung na ano ko sa hikasi nung high school ako. <laughs> Grabe. Pero never ako nagkaroon ng ganitong notebook nung nag-aaral pa ako. Mga simple lang talaga. So, yun. Uh, one way of parang you know, glorifying God, parang hindi mo siya tinitipid. <laughs> Kaso, uh, we're just humans. Dami tayong mga inaalala, dami tayong mga ginagawa. So, merong mga times na yung spiritual warfare ba, na feeling mo you don't feel like ka ng feeling mo, uh, feeling ko pala kasi ako yung magpapayroon share. Just um, to be honest, yung feeling ko parang um, parang ewan ko ba? Parang hindi worthy. Uh, I mean, hindi ako worthy sa ganito, pero may napanood ako kanina and it gives me sense of parang courage na sinabi niya na you are not doing it alone. And this is not your own fight. No, and I was like, oh my God. It, on point lang ba na parang nagod ka sa in between na marag buhaton ba na ako ni or dili ba na ako ni buhaton. And mind you, Bible sharing, it's holy. No, and you don't feel like you deserve Ewan, basta ng anak ko na mga feeling. Pero kata na message, it's on point lang na as I scroll, nakita na ako and then napaminawan na ako the message that God wants me to hear. Anak siya na, it's not your own battle. It's mine. Parang it's his battle too. You're not doing it alone. You are with me. Parang tama ano? Why would I fear? Why would I doubt? Why would I um, feel less of myself kung I, I'm with God? So, bago ako nag-start, I really prayed na, God, um, I know I'm learning and I'm work in progress, but I can't do it my own. I can do it just by myself. Please lead me. Please guide me. And please be with me. So, yeah. 
And we're going back. Title ko sa John 8, yung pinaka-favorite na verse ko sa John 8. Pinaka-first na nasulat ko dito sa aking mahiwagang journal. Wala nang mga diary-diary no, diary ito na. Dear diary, nakita ko po ang crush ko. Oh my God, that's very parang 10 age. <laughs> and I'm done with all that. <laughs> Pero oo, oh, oh, yun nga nilagay ko sa description ko. Mahilig talaga ako mag-diary. So now, nauso na ang YouTube. I can just um, get a snap of or a video or a clip of what I experienced and then upload it. So, yeah, now, I really felt the need to write kasi gusto ko lang ikip yung mga words ni God dito, guys. So, ito yung pinaka-first na, na, na nasulat ko. Hello, Raj! Hello po, musta? Okay lang naman po. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. So, ito yung pinaka-first. Dito naman, hinati ko siya sa dalawa, yung siguro more or less mga 50 pages lang to. Kasi ma, medyo makapali yung kanyang hibla ng ano, medyo, di ko sure 50 or 60 pages lang to. Pero hinati ko na siya sa dalawa, eto, etong half, first half to mga archaic words ng King James Bible. Meron ako nasulat. Ayan. So, ba? Sinulat ko siya sa black color yung mga archaic words. And then yung pink color. Mahilig talaga ako sa pink. <laughs> Is yung meaning niya in English. So, ayan siya kakapal. Madami pa akong isusulat kasi sure ako madaming madaming words yan. Ito naman, half of it, Hindi siya proportion pero okay lang. Is mga favorite verse ko na makikita ko as I uh, go along the journey of reading the Bible and sharing sharing it to you guys. So sa Gen 8, ito yung pinaka-favorite ko. At ito yung title ko sa um, live na to. John 8, 12. Then speak Jesus again unto them saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Diba? Jesus is the light of life. He's more of like, um, what's up yung mga favorite ng mga brand sa light bulb? He's more, he's more than that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mga omni, mga 240 volts, Bitaw. ang kan actually kani nga ma- light na ako dere dili gini siya mo ang light kanang dati katong board meet na ako na nasa pikas diha ah. na shake iyahang ko an room is very very light kung unsa ni mo hang light dere siya pag tanaw na ko low high voltage ang iyahang capacity ba nagpalit din ko same sa iya ha so that's why it's very um maaliwalas <laughs> with feelings no maaliwalas pero guys um let's now start to read John 8 and let's say a uh, pick prayer almighty god we praise you and thank you lord for giving us this day we thank you for letting us know you more God, we are, you are worthy of our praises and worship. God, as we move forward to learn this book of John 8, please enter our life, intercede in us, and let the Holy Spirit open our heart, open our mind and our soul to know your message that you want us to know today, Lord God. And help us grow in your love. This we pray and ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Okay, let's start. So yung aking ano pala? Anong tawag nito? What do we call with this? Uh, 
basta ginaganyan na nakalimutan ko yung pangalan guys eto pala yung picture ko nung ano ano ba to fourth year anib dun sa aming previous na ano office ayan ako <laughs> Ayan ako, hindi pa ako nakabili ng yung merong ano dito ba, yung uh, may tali-tali dito. Pero look at me. <laughs> This was kasagsagan ng pandemic, 2021. So we were wearing like, ano ba to? Um, face shield and then face mask. Awa. Init kay na guys, actually. So init kay na. Pero look at that. I'm very formal. <laughs> formal ko na, nakaano ako, ganyan. So, please let's uh, do this, guys. And shout out to Supercat. Shout out as well to Brandon. And I'm glad kasi Brandon was able to do his life again. Although most of the time wala ako, pero I was um, watching his live, replaying. No? So, nakakamiss lang yung mga Um, times na always mong ginagawa pero uh, sana maintindihan nyo din guys na meron din po kami mga uh, personal battles and personal na mga stops that we need to do so yun most importantly uh, magbasa pa rin tayo ng Bible Ayan. so to start with John 8 Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning, he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him. And he sat, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, This woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus took down and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground, and they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest. Even unto the last, and Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself, and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Look, guys. In this passage, we can parang malaykin na to atong sarili as the, the adulterous, adulterous woman, we as people who fall short in the glory of the Lord. And look how Jesus responded to the adulterous woman. Diba? Instead na um, Instead na he would have done something na parang, parang i-condemn niya ang adulterous woman but he didn't. Now instead, he just stooped down. Stoop meaning bent down at that time. So he bent down twice and if you would remember in a couple of days I have went, I, I went live kanang I shared about the reason why Jesus stooped down or bent down. So, then I found out that Jesus actually is writing something in the sand. So, it's not mentioned here, 
pag unsa man ang ihang gisulat, tiba Wala ka wala ta naka dungog unsa iyang gisulat. But surprisingly, he he's writing those scene of the Pharisees, the scenes of the lawmakers, the scribes. So in that in that act, parang katong mga nagkondem sa adulterous woman, para silang na Murag naulaw sila sa ilang mga sarili. Naulaw sila sa ilang mga sarili. Pero Jesus himself wala niya gi like matamata na. Kamo on sa daimo mga limpyo mo. Wala niya gi matamata ang mga Pharisee, wala niya gi uh, nagdiretso. Like in a way na Jesus it's Jesus is meek. No, if he's not meek, he would have like anang ingon na, oy unsa day mo? Unsa man mo? Mga limpyo mo? Kaning adulterous woman, nga nung gina-condemn ni Nimo siya, ninyo sila. Na, no. He did, he did not see that. So, look how Jesus responded to a sinner. Look how Jesus responded to us, sinners. Jesus did not come to condemn. He came to serve. That's why Jesus was crucified because he's there to serve the people. Diba? So, grabe, makaana ka na grabe good si Jesus. Then, iana tong anang tana siya ka sa woman. Kaya pagka pansin niya, wala na may mga nabili na mga tao. Iana ang mga scribes na. It was written in the law or in the law of Moses na kung kinsa man ang nagbuhat ani nga sala will be stoned. So, ana si Jesus na, kung kinsa man to ang walay sala, unhin ninyo glabay ang woman. Wala ginabilin guys, from elders down to pinakabata. They fled. They, they're gone. like So, that means, wala agilim pyo sa to ah. We are people who fell short in the glory of God. All of us is makasal, makasasala. No? But with how Jesus responded to our sins, we should have kanang kung unsa man ang deserve nato nga parang para kung unsa man ang deserve na unta makamta nato as a sinner ba. Pero instead because God loves us, he sent Jesus he sent Jesus to save us from our, from all our sins. Grabe. So let's continue reading. So muna ni siya kong isa ka favorite na verse sa Bible sa John 8. Then speak Jesus again unto them saying, Ilang round po ang kayo ng mga babae? Hello po, good evening. Hello Ernesto Tido, good evening po. Then speak Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came, and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come, and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. Ba? Take note. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. This one. Take note. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, 
you should have known my father also. These words speak Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. So in this passage, guys, many have asked na, is God or is Jesus God? So asa na to ma, ma tubag ka na nga pangutan na? Pwede man ta um, mutan na og mga commentary sa YouTube or mga commentary sa mga kanang even sa Facebook daghan na siya mga commentary na no, if is Jesus God is isa lang ba So nara guys ang tubag sa John 16 no mo, moagi jud tag Bible kay kung sa mga tao baka ana ta na it's good to uh, take their side pero even ako tao lang man pud sila sumamalik pud sila di ba so the answer is here Jude sa Bible let us rely always in the Bible no as what supercut no or as what supercut always reminds of me as my mentor and I always thank him for that and he's even saying to me na not re- really to believe in him or not really to believe in me like that but believe in God believe in the Bible believe in the word of God through the Bible so if we have questions let's let's read his words so ana siya and yet if i judge my judgment is true for i am not alone but i and the father that sent me diba remarkable kay ni siya ng mga words guys i hope you can also read uh john chapter 8 no not only the chapter at uh, the verse 12 kay kanang pinaka uh, obvious na kaning chapter 12 he is parang gina pakuyanap niya sa kalibutan na ako ang light whoever will follow me will not work in will not walk in darkness so katong mga naglakaw sa kangit-ngit sila tong dili willing mo follow kay Jesus so if you feel like you are walking in darkness turn yourself to him repent and turn back yourself to Jesus Nala na si Jesus permidha naganak sa tong heart if we feel like we're lost if we feel like we are walking in darkness you know so it's not too late it's not too late so let's continue then said Jesus again unto them I go my way and ye shall seek me and shall die in your sins whither I go ye cannot come and he said unto them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Grabe guys, this is also one of the uh, verse right here na parang, Mahadlo ka ba? Ma-alarm ka? No. Then, then, said, then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say, have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he speak to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, Where When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he. Hmm? That shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father had taught me, I speak these things. And there are other verses that would support that Jesus and God is one, as we, you know, keep on reading. So, yeah. Asanata. And he's and he that sent me is with me. 
the Father had not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. As he speak these words, many believe on him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank God. Then said Jesus to those Jews, which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou ye shall be made free? Matana ang mga paresiyo na. We are Abraham's seed, and we don't remember any man na we are slave of. So wala may naging slave sa bisan kinsang man. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. So these Pharisees were the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever but the Son abideth ever. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. Remember, guys, Abraham. Um, as I read Abraham the past couple of days through the previous books, parang, I didn't really know or maybe I forgot the significance of Abraham in Christians in in my Christian faith. <clears throat> and then um we search na ko siyang balik. So Abraham was the the father of Cain. And then Abraham was called to have his son Cain or Cain. I don't know how to to pronounce so he was challenged by god to kanang ialay gud yung anak na si Cain and then because god parang naluoy siya kay Abraham and with that test na find out niya na si Abraham has strong faith of him so na save si Cain instead they he saw a lamb and then the lamb that lamb was made for for uh, offering so it's it's very good um story guys i hope you can read the uh parang si tao ganay mabasa ninyo balik ang parang purpose or ang sige na nahulog akong bright guys Mabasa ninyo balik ang work ni Abraham or ang uh, hulog na pala akong bright. <laughs> Kanang mabasa ninyo balik iyahang kung sa gina, sa English ng example, you have done something ba? Uh, parang punita akong bright, please. <laughs> Kanang Yang ambag. Ambag niya sa Christian faith ba? O di ba? Ambag rada yung word. <laughs> La tay ambag. <laughs> di tay importante wa tay ambag. <laughs> di ta mabasa ninyo ang ambag ni Abraham sa Christian faith. No? Aha naman ta. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which we have seen with your father. They answered and said unto them, and said unto him, Abraham is our father, Jesus said unto them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me. A man that had, had told you the truth, which I have heard of God, these did not Abraham. So, ginaklaim sa mga Pharisees na they were the child of Abraham. So, naana si Jesus nga, kung anak yun mo na Abraham, why would you kill me? Why would you not believe in the truth? 
No? You do these deeds of your father, then said they to then said they to him, We be not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I for my eye of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? You are of your father, the devil, and the last of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. So when you lie... You are a slave of sin. You are a slave of a devil. No. Basawa na kong otro. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words, ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. That. Manindog batong balahibo ni guys. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say, We not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil. But I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Amen. Hallelujah. Then said the Jews unto him, Now, we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead the prophets, and thou sayest, If a man keep me, saying, He shall never taste of death. Are thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead, who makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him, and if I should say, I know him not. I shall be a liar like unto you, but I know him, and keep his saying. Amen. Glory. Glory to you, O God. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old. And hast thou even, and hast thou seen Abraham? So, namuta na ang mga Jews na, dili pa mga ni ka 55 years old. How ka mga mo anak ka nga nakita na nimo si Abraham? So, mo ni siya guys, this will support na Jesus and God is one. Let's continue reading. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was I am. Grabe. Hallelujah. I don't know if nakuha ko ninyo guys, pero Jesus and God is one. You know, the Bible the Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was I am. So, kinsa man ang naguna. Diba? Sa Old Testament sa si Abraham. And God was present even the old times with, with Abraham. Abraham as he uh he was a um, remarkable man in the old testament he has parang nashine nakong ambag sa christian faith tungod sa test na gibuhat sa iyaha no na i surrender or himuong al um, kanagong himuong kanang himuong offerings iyang son 
pray because God loves him. And God knows that his faith is really strong. So his son Cain was saved. So at that very moment, parang gi historia ni Jesus na even before Abraham was I am. So Jesus and God therefore is one. Diba? Kay pangutana sa mga Jews nga, how ka makaana ka nga you've seen Abraham? In fact, you're not 50 yet. You're not 50 years old yet. At that time, maybe Jesus was around uh, 32. Because uh, at 31, basta na siya sa mga 30 to mga 30s niya. At that time nga, parang gina made known na ganiyang pag-ministry. Wait lang, guys. I need to... Hello, Supercat! Hello po. I have some... I felt very acidic. So, I don't know. <laughs> I have a uh, upset stomach right now. Oh, I just drank coffee and I didn't even finish it. But I'm fine. <laughs> In the glory of God, I will be fine. So yeah, let's continue. Then took the up stones to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them. And so passed by. So that's basically it for John 8, guys. And here is a percat. I was sharing my notebook, a very, very, very beautiful notebook, very um, classic, classy notebook. So here's how thick it is. I just bought it for more or less almost four dollars, no, almost. So I was like, uh, gonna. Put it or like gonna divide this on half and then the other half will be for the favorite verses. And then here, this will be for the archive words and I have already written some. This is very kanang simple but um, yeah, I, I, I shared to them earlier na never in my... Um, in my life, nga, I was schooling. I was able to buy this type of notebook. Like just the very simple one. 50 leaves and then um, just will cost like around 24 pesos like that. So, you know, we really have to invest in our faith, in our salvation. Mag-invest, mag-anita ng mga... <laughs> mga sa na ay mga investments or kanang mga apps apps na too good to be true kayo bisag mo na 500 turns to 1000 yeah scam de ito mas scam de ito how much more we should invest in our salvation you know, we, we should invest ourselves to know more god and to know more jesus there may be times na we battle spiritual warfare there may be times na parang we're caught of many steps that we're worried about overthinking. Pero let's not forget John 8. Jesus said na you are of the world. I am not of na I am not for this world. And he said that to the Jews, to those na ginakondem ang mga ang babae. So like I also would like to share na katugong ano guys, katong accident with the van here in our, one of our city in the Philippines in North Cotabato. Um, accident between the van and the bus. Like all the passengers in the van, they're all dead and they were burned. Kasi nagbuto 
the, the I guess nagbuto ang van and then it explodes. Nagbuto ganin nag explode. So ang mga passengers na nga sunog. And then I remember at Tiwela and I also was trying to watch it although I cannot really you know contain with watching the bodies burning. Oh my god. Atiwala said Atiwala was my workmate and she's also parang working in the ministry in their church. So and Atiwala said na we are not really for this world. And I was said true. We're not for this world. We are meant to be with God. So we have to do our very best to not be separated from God. No. Kasi temptations are around us while we are in this world. Temptations, the devil is just there. So let's fight. Let's be strong in faith to fight him. To do our very best to not be separated from God. So grabe. Kaana jud ka na the way they they are the way of their death is very tragic and i don't know a uh, super cat if you've seen it but millions upon millions of demons tempting yeah so we should be strong Whew. hallelujah i'm glad you're here i'm very sorry i was like oh my god i missed my life last night I actually was very tired last night, guys. I tried to have a nap for like an hour. And then that was around 11 p.m. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to wake up on my alarm. <laughs> and when I wake up, it's like, oh my God, it's 1 a.m. <laughs> so, okay, I forgive myself. Oh my God, I was really so tired. So, yeah, I hope, same with me guys, I hope dilit mo magsawa na isik si Jesus and to seek God, no? Kasi, dili siya dali, dili gin siya lalim ay, dili siya lalim, no? It's not easy. <laughs> the spiritual warfare, it's not easy. A lot of temptations. Pero, I know, God will be with us. <clears throat> so, I think, for now, that's gonna be it. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what time is it in Oklahoma, but I hope you are doing good. Sir Supercat. Yeah. Oh, it's 10.55 a.m. Are you at work right now or it's your day off? <laughs> I mean, oh, your email. Okay. Um, honestly, I was still half of the last email you sent me. I haven't read all of the message or all of all of the message yet. So I wanted to really understand like you know because it's a lot. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I enjoyed reading those to be honest. <laughs> That's true. So yeah, I will email you back. Um I already have a draft. So I'm just going to continue the like message when you read it put on your glasses so you are <laughs> yeah <laughs> i will so this one while reading this i was not able to put my glasses because i like it the letters were written in bolder or bigger letters so thank you i really appreciate it. but still i'm going to you know Wear my glasses, and I don't know where I put it because the glare, <laughs> the glare of the, I know, of my phone. Hello, madam. How are you? Hello, Mohan B. Hello. I'm doing fine. I hope you are doing well, Mohan. 
Thank you for coming by. Thank you for dropping by. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all, everyone in the house. Yeah, and Sis Darcy. God bless you, Sis Darcy. I miss you all, guys. I haven't been able to do this, no? Pero, there is really time for everything. So, I promise to myself to not hurry when reading the Bible. No, I should taste every good word God would tell me. Taste the goodness of the Lord. Yun. But I, I have to be... I'm also good. I'm from India. Hi! Everyone from India. How are you guys? I'm going to learn one word or like a phrase so that I will be able to greet you in your language. Yeah, that's so exciting. <laughs> that's so exciting. Yes, I will now go and I hope you guys will have a great day ahead. Uh, God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. <laughs> Take care, everyone. So, Perkat, I'm going to send you an email. So, yeah. Yay! <laughs> Ingat! Take care, everyone. Shoutout pala kay Gian, Ana. She's now sleeping. And my mama. So, love you all.